What's going on, y'all? You're tuning in to another exciting episode of It's Just Mario, and I'm Mario Ramon, your host. Let's get straight into it. Today, our show is about the 2010 Soul Train Awards. I have so much to say about this, so we are going to get right into it. R. Kelly opened the show up. He knocked the ball out of the park. He gave it the strumpf of the men's with the woman's love. Did R. Kelly sing? Okay, touch me nice. And if you do it good, I'll let you touch me twice. Okay? Taraji P. Henson and Terrence Howard came out. They were the host. Now, to me, I love them both. First of all, let's just say it in love. I love them both. But I did not totally feel a chemistry between those two while they were hosting. Almost like Taraji was dogging them. Like, where's your swag? Where's your swag? It was the whole thing. Now, I understand it was a skit, you know, with them supposed to, you know, battle each other. But for the whole show, come on. It got played for two hours, okay? I wanted to see them mesh together, stand together, and, you know, a little bit more chemistry. Next, I will say in the dance, um competition between Taraji and Terrence they totally knocked the ball off the park um, I love Taraji when she came out with her Wonder Woman 2040 outfit on I throw my hair back up I throw my hair back up I throw my hair she totally rocked it okay um, who else came out oh my little Keisha Knight Pouillon and, um, and I hope that's how you say Boo Bear's name and don't that sound like an expensive mustard could you please pass me the Pouillon yeah Keisha Knight she came out and Raven Simone and they gave the song of the year um, to B.O.B., which I was totally baffled on, if I may do a Kanye West myself, because you had Usher in that category, and then you had Sade, you had Monica, and you had Alicia Keys in that category. I was just like, mm, okay, the soldier in love. Okay, touch nice, and if you do it good, I'll let you touch your choice. All right, who else did we have? Um... We had chili. She just came out and she did the chili. She had a mushroom on top of her head. It was nothing really fancy. It never is. And she did the chili. And it was chili-ish. Okay. And she presented. Um, no, no, she didn't do a pre uh, presentation. She actually um, she um, presented. What, what, what do you call it? Not present. But she told Neil to come on out here and sing and dance with your four dancers. And now Neil, Neil is like. The restaurant that you always go to and order the same dish like neo is safe um his performances are always safe i think he wears the same suit and i love neo but he wears his five guys named mo suit with his hat and then he just do, you know he does the neo okay and then he leaves so you really can't go wrong with neo okay um let me see. Oh, oh my goodness. The Anita Baker tribute. Were you about to have an RB coma? Chrisette Michelle, she came out and she she really didn't give me her Chrisetteness to me vocally. She was just safe. It was like a flat line. It was safe. It was, you know, it wasn't bad, but it was it was safe. But I will tell you that little to me and she invented bodies. That little thing came out here and she sang, sang, sang. She turned the fire up on the pot. You know how when the pot and the water just start boiling over the pot and it start um, frying in the drip pan and you can hear it and you're like, whoa, something in there burning. Let me turn the water down. Okay, that's Tamia. Come sit down on it. Little, little TT. Faith Evans came out and is dressed to make her booty look small. Not, not small, but flat, you know. But I love Faith Evans and everything. But she jammed. Um, it wasn't uh, on a scale from 1 to 10. Faith did about a 7. Um, you know, Mario going to keep it real. Going to sit down on it. And I buy everything you do. So I can say that. Rochelle Farrell and Kim. That's like putting NyQuil with Grey Goose. Why would you put NyQuil and Grey Goose together? Whose party is this? Rochelle Farrell and Kim. Now, I understand that, you know, they're in the same genre of music and everything. And I love Rochelle and, and I love Kim. But you don't put pancakes and ranch dressing together. But anyway, that's Mario going off on his tangent. Rochelle Farrell knocked the ball off the park. She was like, ah! You know how Rochelle, she be getting like real horses about it when she gets into her song. She like, I don't know what I do. I don't know how, but I know you. And then when she's playing the piano too, she gets inside that you know why. Okay, okay. But um, Kim did hold his own. Nevertheless, I was actually surprised. Kim handled his own. 
Next time you need to bring some mace though, because Rochelle got inside that you know what. Okay, Guapale and Dion Ferris. They found Miss Penny with a hole in it. Penny with a penny with a penny with a hole in it. Where did they find Dion Ferris from? And didn't she jam? Dion Ferris tore it up. Guapale, you jam too, boo girl. Not to discredit you, but I haven't seen Dion Ferris in at least 23 years. The last time I saw her, she was on the milk cart talking about, have you seen me? God, sit down on it. I ain't worried about that y'all talking about. Anyway, Eric Benet came out. And he sang his little jam, and um, Best New Artist came out. Now, which I was totally baffled about Best New Artist, the winner. How many minutes we have? I got about five minutes to talk to you the way you need to be talked to. Okay. But Best New Artist came out, and Melanie Fiona was one of them, and Nicki Minaj, B.O.B., and Dorinda, and Wally, Wale. I hope I got the pronunciation right, but y'all know Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A, you know what I'm talking about. But anyway... B.O.B. won Best New Artist over Nicki Minaj? Whose party is this? Are you kidding? I hate to have a Kanye West moment at this time, but y'all just going to make me talk. Don't make me talk like this in public. Okay. Touch me nice. And if you do it good, I'll let you touch me twice. Oh, God. Okay. Kim Phil came out looking like the Thunderdome. We don't need another hero. She had this thing on top of her head like this. It was gold. And she came out and she announced um, my other boo bear, uh, Erica Badu, singing Window Seat. Now, Erica Badu looked like a cross last night on the B uh, on the Soul Train 2010 Awards. She looked like a cross between Lady Gaga, Rihanna, Miss Seeley from The Color Purple, and a bag lady. That's right, her own song. Um, but her voice was in top tip-top shape position. I mean, she knocked the ball out the park. We love Erica Badu. You know, she's just on her own planet, Zurek. Okay, work, Miss Badu. Badu! Badu! Wolf Blitzer. Wolf Blitzer came out, and you know what he do? He did. He was like, I don't want to talk about the news and everything. I want to keep it big. Teach me how to duck. Teach me, teach me. Hey! Teach me how to duck. Go, Wolf! Yes, he wanted somebody to teach him how to Dougie. Hello? Work it out, Wolf. Then SWV came out. Now, I never thought I would say this, and I still might not say it. But say it, Mario. No. Say it, Mario. No. Say it, Mario. No. Lily from SWV actually looked good. There, I said it. There, I said it! Lily from SWV looked good. Coco looked like she was on some Coco. Taj looked very good. And that's it about SWV. They didn't sing. They presented somebody. And, and that was it. That was SWV. Jasmine Sullivan. She came out. Love Jasmine Sullivan's voice. If we don't get her a stylist quick, it's going to end it all. Get that boo girl a stylist. I'm tired of seeing these funny shaped dresses on her makeup. Now, you know you ain't got the best shape. So, you got to work what you have, honey. But don't be putting that on there. And don't you let nobody put that on you with that voice you got. Girl, I love you. I will dip you in ranch and eat you, Jasmine. But I'm not in that dress. Gonna sit down on it. Okay. And I still love you. But anyway, let's see who else. Uh, Jasmine Monet won the Centric Award, which she should have. Her and her hair, she rocks it. And we have um, Steve Harvey came out and he presented the Legends Award. How many minutes we have? So I can talk to you where you, where you need to be talked to. Okay, Steve Harvey came out and presented the Legends Award to Ronald Isley. Keisha Coles knocked the ball out of the park I with her voice. Not her outfit. Part of her outfit, like the top part of her outfit, looked like it came from Saks Fifth Avenue. And the skirt looked like it came from a towel rack in um, Hawaii somewhere. Then she had hot pink lips and red hair child. I don't know who dressed her. I don't want to know. And But the voice, you can't, and I don't want to say too much because I want Frankie to come up and back at me at one of these clubs out here in Atlanta. Honey, because I ain't into hitting women, but don't push me. But I am kidding. <laughs> okay. But Keisha did jam, and everybody jammed on the Ronald Isley tribute. Ronald Isley actually um, shut the show down, and he did um, a, a duet with 
Shantae Moore and R. Kelly. Shut your Can't you see two men are talking? Mm. Told I told you to get to walking. Oh, I forgot about CeeLo Green. Did I forget about CeeLo coming out looking like the devil in that old gold? He came out in all gold. And then he had dancers in white bathing suits with these big old feather hats.